In this video, we want to take a look at mixed and improper fractions. So, fractions can be represented in several ways. A fraction, uh, a fraction like one and a half, is called a mixed fraction. The reason why it's called a mixed fraction is because, you see, we have a whole number part here, and then part of a whole, or a fractional part, here. So that's why it's called a mixed fraction. An improper fraction, an improper frac fraction is something like 6 over five and this is called an improper fraction it's improper because the numerator is bigger than the denominator if the numerator is larger than the denominator then it is an improper fraction. So a mixed fraction has a whole number part and part of a whole, and an improper fraction always will have a numerator larger than a denominator. So what we want to take a look at is being able to convert a mixed to an improper and an improper to a mixed fraction. That's going to be important uh, as we carry on with uh, fractions. So if we, look, uh, if we look at something like 1 and 5 eighths, if you want to convert a mixed fraction to an improper fraction, then this is really uh, the only method and only way to do it. If we have one, 1 and 5 eighths, does it make sense to you that really we have one whole we have one whole, and then we have five eighths of a whole. Well, one whole, one whole is eight eighths. And if we add eight eighths and five eighths, remember, eight eighths is the whole, and it's one and five eighths, so it's one plus five eighths. So the five eighths remains unchanged. And now we follow our method for adding fractions, and they do have a common denominator here, so 8 eighths plus 5 eighths would be 13 eighths. Now just to show you that that works, let's look at converting, let's look at converting uh, 13 eighths Let's look at converting 13 eighths back to a mixed fraction, and we should get 1 and 5 eighths. So we're sort of going to work backwards here to try to see uh, the method for doing this. So here we have an improper fraction of 13 eighths, and if we have an improper fraction, the way we convert it to a mixed fraction is really by doing the long division. We have to basically take 8 and divide 8 into 13. So we know that 8 goes into 13 one time, and then, if you remember your long division, we multiply 1 times 8, we put the 8 down at the bottom, underneath the 13, then we subtract the two numbers, and we land up getting 5. Now, we don't really do more uh, of the long division than that because you would say that 13 over 8 is equal to 1 with a remainder of 5. So really we have 1 eighth and then we have a remainder of 5. But we really have 5 eighths left, don't we? Because we have a remainder of 
5. So 13 eighths is equal to 1 with a remainder of 5, which is equivalent to writing 1 and 5 eighths. I'm going to do a few more examples here uh, just to make sure that you get the, get the concept. So let's look at something like 3 and 1 half. Well, three and one half, and I'm going to do this one the same way and then a little bit of a different way. Remember what we did here. We said, hey, one and five eighths was really like eight eighths plus five eighths. So three and a half is really like three plus one half. And we have a whole number, and so we're going to now have to revert to our adding fractions part. We have 3 plus a half. That's really what 3 and a half means. Now, if we want to add 3 plus a half, we need, I'm just going to make this half a little larger, we need to make sure that we have a common denominator. And we don't right now have a common denominator. Remember what our method for finding a common denominator was. Our magic number here is 2, and so we then will multiply this fraction by 2 over 2, and that will give us 2 times 3, which is 6, over 2 times 1, 6 halves plus 1 half, which is equal to 7 halves. 6 plus 1, all divided by 2. So 7 over 2. Now, there is really an easier way of doing that uh, that you can sort of remember. Three and a half, and I'm going to write it in big letters here, three and one half. If you use this method, we take the two, and we three and one half really means we take two times three, so we multiply the denominator by the whole number, two times three, plus 1, all over 2. 2 times 3, plus 1, all over 2. So we multiply here and add here. And 2 times 3 is 6, following again our order of operations. 2 plus 3, or 2 times 3 rather, is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7 halves. Now let's go back and check out this one and see if this will work uh, for this method will work for this one. We had one and five eighths, so by this method, and this is probably the method that you'll choose as opposed to finding the common denominator, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. One and five eighths, we multiply here and add here. So this becomes eight times one plus five all over eight. And 8 times 1 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13 eighths. And that's indeed what we had. So if we look at changing a mixed fraction into an improper fraction, we have two ways of going. This is really what it means, uh, but it is sort of the long way. This method, this method is sort of the longer method. I think as long as you can remember that there's a multiplication sign here and an add sign there, then it's very quick to convert them. And if we want to do the reverse and convert this improper fraction of 7 halves into a mixed fraction, then we say 2 into 7, so... 2 times 3 is 6. Now we multiply. We write below. I'm just doing long division here. 7. 2 goes into 7 three times. 3 times 2 is 6. And we subtract. And I have a remainder of 1. So if I have a remainder of 1, then 7 halves really is 2 and a remainder of 1. 
Oh, I'm sorry, it's three. It's three with a remainder of one. I just circled the wrong number here. So seven divided by two is three with a remainder of one, and we put our remainder over what we were dividing into. Let's take another look at a much more complicated one here of four and seven eighths. If we want to convert four and seven eighths into an equivalent improper fraction, remember there's a multiplication sign here and an addition sign here, so it will become eight times four plus seven all divided by eight. And now we have to use our order of operations. Eight times four is 32. So we get 32 plus seven all divided by eight. And 32 plus seven is 39 eighths. And again, going the other way, we would divide eight into 39. And we have 8, 16, 24, 32. So it would go 4 times. 4 times 8 is 32. And then we subtract. 39 minus 32 is a remainder of 7. So 39 eighths would be 8 with a remainder of 7 eighths. And I did the same thing again. Let's make sure we circle our right number. It's four and seven eighths. So that should give you a pretty good idea of converting mixed to improper. Again, you can choose whichever method you like, uh, but I really think that the method here of making sure that you know that there's a multiplication sign here and an addition sign there, and then it all goes over the original denominator when you're moving from mixed to improper.